Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, our, our channel is growing like crazy, getting overwhelming uh, comments every day being blessed to know that other people can resonate with the videos and you know being able to relate and be able to connect with other people world you know otherworldly like this is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all oh my goodness namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you're comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me if you can just drop a couple of lines, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if the video gives you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow impact or going through some really dark times and need confirmation or validation through their life path or their life purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me truly every day. It means a lot to me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I'm feeling good. Like, I really got some good vibes. This is a good thing when I can, you know, listen to motivational videos and it really puts me in a positive state of mind. And it's just like, you know, I was just relaxing today. I wasn't even going to make any videos today. But it was just like, you know, I was listening to uh, this mentor from, uh, from uh, uh, Facebook. His name is Jay Sheedy. And he used to be a monk. I mean, beautiful, just beautiful spirit. You know, he, I mean, that man talks about everything that we constantly go through. And it's just like, you know, from the essence that he has, he was like one of those type of people that, you know, helped me to keep making videos, you know, saying this is what I want to do. This is stuff I love to do, being able to help people see the beautiful in every every ugly situation that we encounter being able to do that and being able to see that you're here for a purpose you're going through certain things and yes it might be sad or upsetting but you're still going through it you know so that's a good thing to be able to deal with but anyways um my meditation music that i'm listening to today is 528 hertz tranquility music for self-healing love yourself light music for self-love and harmony and i will post that link in the description box below y'all was all up in the video like oh dang you didn't even tell them what the <laughs> video was about but anyways the video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas we don't stop playing because we get old we get old because we stop playing you know every life is every every year of our life is precious you know there's sometimes we hate getting reminded uh we're getting older you know but that's okay it's only you my mom like my mom always say you're only as old as you feel you know it's a blessing to be able to reach your golden years being able to do that because there's so many people that are dying left and right from senseless you know uh being shot by cops or you know people getting shot because of these terroristic things that's going on because they weren't denied they were denied life but yet we're still here and you should never, you should be able to get in touch with your inner child. You know, like being able, I mean, I, I've seen some people that are older than me and got more energy. I'm like, tag, I wish I envy y'all because y'all got that energy. I said, where you get that energy from? Because it's like when I see older people doing more things than me, I said, I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> I definitely do. I said, because it's just like, it's a blessing. When you can see social media and you see these older people, they're, I mean, they're out at festivals and they're just dancing and having fun. And that's how we need to be. You know, you shouldn't concentrate like on your age and, oh gosh, I'm like, I'm about to be 42 in a couple of weeks. But there's times where I move around and my body's so stiff, I feel like I'm 82. But hey, I'm still loving life. You know, God is, God is allowing me to see, God in the universe is allowing me to see another year. You should be blessed and grateful for that. But never take any day. Every, every minute counts. Every second counts. Be blessed for all these things, you know, because there's a lot of people that are in situations where they have illnesses, where they have struggled to breathe, struggle to move around, even have enough energy to get themselves out of bed. 
you know, you should be blessed to be able to do that. You should never stop, you know, stop learning, stop encouraging yourself, stop, you know, live for the moment, live like today is your last, you know, being able to enjoy the best things in life. You know, if you're able to do things and you can afford to, you know, go to these different places, you know, just to be able to have a different experience. I have a, I had an ex back from middle school and his birthday was this weekend. I see him like in helicopters, having a helicopter ride and stuff like that. He's like, shoot, I'm living a moment. And that's the best thing to do. If you're blessed to be able to do things like that, be able to do it. I know I would, you know, being able to see different cities, being able to um, go to like different museums. I love stuff like that. I love to be able to hear about different cultures. Uh, you know, it, it was just like, matter of fact, my old job when I was living in the Midwest, you know, um, it was like it was a melting pot. So I had so many friends, different friends from, you know, uh, different aspects of life. Like I've met different Muslims and, you know, when we got in our comfortable stage, you know, that was like right after 9-11. So, you know, everybody was kind of like on eggshells, but it was just like, you can't judge you know, a certain religion just because there are some bad seeds in a bunch. You shouldn't do that because there's a lot of people that can racially profile black people. We got some black, bad black, black ones, but we also have some good black ones as well. You know, everybody got their bad seed in everybody's culture. So, you know, when we got more comfortable with it, about that, we got to know each other, you know. Um, you know, I got friends from Egypt. I got friends from uh, Siberia. I got friends from Prague, uh, New Zealand, you know, just getting, knowing all these people, you know, from Germany, you know, I used to be in Germany, so that's part of, you know, my, my family's Creole, so that's part of our background as, as well, so just being able to learn about different cultures, and, you know, how they do things, and, you know, how they say certain things, being able to take up a new language, or something different, you don't have to do everything where it costs money, but you can find out different things you can do with your life, that, you know, it can make life meaningful, you know, don't live out every day just to survive, you should be able to live, to be able to live, you know, you should, that, that's not what you're here for, is just to survive, you know, you're supposed to encourage every moment, at least when you know, when you leave out this world, you can say you did many things, you know, because that's why I tell people, you know, oh, they're talking about some people like, oh, well, in my age, I just can't do, I said, you know what, there are some people I used to talk to in the nursing home where they wished, they wished they can do a lot of things that they didn't do back in the days when they were able to move and be mobile and stuff like that, you know, and I always tell them, you know, did you, did you have interest in life and did you do this? And there was a lot of things they said they wish they would have did you know, why they were able to still move around like that, so that's why I'm just like, shoot, if you can be 85 years old, or 75 years old, if you were able to move around and get from here to here to there, you better live, <laughs> you better live, you, I mean, that's what you need to do, being able to, you know, um, just bring some extraness to your life, you know, being able, like I said, learn a different language, learn a different culture, you know, try, try different foods from a different country, you know, different things like that, being able to read up and learn about different ways about how people do things, and I always find it interesting, like I said, I, you know, worked around a lot of different people that were from different countries, and I mean, we would learn stuff, we would joke around, you know, it was just like where I was working at, I was, uh, a supervisor on certain things and it was just like people I got to talk to you know they were from Kenya or Guyana or whatever and we would talk about different things and they would always come up to me and like Roslyn you know you're the only person I'm comfortable with can I do you know what is you know because they didn't know about American culture or about certain things you know and people would take advantage of them because they did they weren't accustomed to how we do things and you know in the U.S., and I was like, oh, no, don't you do that, I said, they're trying to sit up here and take advantage of you, and this, and this, and this, and that, so it was just like, they were like, Rosalind, you always told us the truth, you, you know, you were honest about stuff, you didn't, because I wasn't on that type of mind, like, you know, when people tend to get over on you and stuff like that, you can't get mad, because if you don't have that mind to be trying to be deceptive about things, you can't sit up here and say, why didn't I catch on about this, because you don't have that mind of deception, so it was just like all these different things I was telling about, 
And it was just like, you know, I got to relive through all of them. I had that childlike mind. We were just acting a fool and, you know, enjoying ourselves. And they would tell me about different things. And I would tell them different things. And, you know, there's things I was curious about that I wanted to know about that I wouldn't be, you know, comfortable with asking a total stranger. But this is a person I would ask, you know, especially, you know, I was working with military. And it just so happened to be around 9-11. And I'm just like, hold up. You know, if y'all start acting a certain way, I ain't coming. You know, but it was just like different things that we encountered and we talked about or whatever that I was more comfortable with talking to them about and asking, you know, that I would somebody, a total stranger. But anyways, it was just like being able to live my life and, you know, different things I can say I've, I've experienced. I, I say I'm blessed, you know, even though there's a lot more things I would love to do. But I'm enjoying the moments now, you know, being able to see things, you know, getting out of that negative rut in our life we're always talking about oh this i don't have you know you have to be able to say this is what i do have you know being in that childlike mind being able to adventure and do different things you know why you have that moment to do that you know because life is too short and we ain't supposed to be sitting up here you know just living it just worrying about the things we don't have in life when we can go find something else to deal with it doesn't you know cost anything but money doesn't have to buy so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video you know live life and enjoy it you know life is too short and choose to do something different that you will always love to do and don't allow fear to be a factor of the situation so like and subscribe drop me a line i would love a chance to get to hear your feedback um, i'm gonna give my post notification shout out to gabriel and uh alien vegan and Bousse and katie much love to you many blessings as well and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you, you know, there's always somebody out there praying for you and you should do the same. And you never know your kind words can really go a long way. So, you know, drop me a line. Hit the notification bell if you have not, you know. And hit the subscribe button as well, too. So, and I will see you on my next video. Have a blessed week. And be prosperous. Peace. Be wild.